Hi friends, my name is Smita and uh, I have been away for a long time but I thought of finishing this video series. So in this video I am going to talk about the query interface of the iUnknown interface. And uh, uh, in order to know the query interface uh, in a better way, I thought of uh, showing a computer game that was uh, there in the early programming days. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture here. So the game is such that the computer will try to guess the animal in the player's mind using some questions. For example, it will ask, are you a mammal? Yes. Do you have two legs? No. Do you have big ears? Yes. Are you big? No. Are you rabbit? Yes. So using this certain questions, the computer tried to guess the animal and finally it was able to do so. So in a way, uh, the COM client and compo component relationship is uh, we can compare with this particular program because in the com uh, interface or in the com architecture the com client does not know the interface supported by a component but in order to find out the component uh, the client is going to query query for it and in order to query the same the 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 function that is used is query interface so I'm going to explain about the query interface in more uh, in the uh, in the more programmatic way. And here I have a program uh, which which have the definition of uh, where I'm going to show you the definition of the I unknown and uh, the query interface. Okay. So as as in com everything starts and ends with an interface. There is this interface called I unknown, okay, which is used for querying all other interfaces, okay. So uh, even if you have to, we have to find out if an interface is implemented by a component or not, or supported by a component or not. We have to query for it using the I unknown interface pointer. So let's see the definition of. Uh, so I have written a small com program where we have three interfaces ix iy and iz they are inherited from i unknown interface that it is the basic uh, basic that to be a i uh, to be a interface a com interface it has to inherit from i unknown interface so let's see the definition of it so if i peek the definition in the unknown base dot h or uh, unknown uh, or in this file un known dot h file you will find the definition of the i unknown interface so here it has three methods one is query interface address and release okay these are the three methods that are uh, declared inside the i unknown interface and here uh, one thing i would just like to point out uh, if you have noticed the calling convention we have we are using uh, this particular type, um, this particular macro, std method called type. Let's see the definition. So this is basically a calling convention which is called underscore underscore std call. Okay, and in in my example uh, in this video or in the coming videos, you will be seeing this calling this particular calling convention. So this is also known as Pascal calling convention, and uh, the the basically the idea is like a function marked with underscore underscore std call uses the standard calling convention uh, which means the function uh, using this calling convention removes the parameter from the stack before they return to the caller and in the normal c and c plus plus calling convention the caller cleans up the stack instead of the function so this is just a calling convention and uh, I just thought of uh, showing it to you and it is uh, you can instead of std underscore underscore std call you can also use std method call type both are same. So uh, now going back to our I unknown interface uh, and to our program. So another uh, so here this one interesting point is I unknown name right. It is this I unknown interface 
is uh, one interface that all components and clients know about but even then we call it a i unknown interface the reason for this simple name is um, com interfaces all the com interfaces inherit from i unknown therefore if a client has a i unknown interface pointer uh, therefore the client will have a i unknown interface pointer but it does not know what kind of interface pointer it has okay so only that it can ask for it right so that is the reason it is called as i unknown because it is it does not know what kind of interface pointer it has okay so uh, this is these are some <laughs> two simple informations and uh, going back to the program so these are the interfaces and we have rca class which is inheriting from publicly inheriting from ix iy and iz and as they are inherited uh, so it has to provide the implementation this uh, component will provide all the implementation of the query interface address release fx fy and fz all these functions so we are specifically looking at the query interface here now uh, here one thing i would like to point it out if you have noticed ix iy and iz are publicly inherited but they are not virtual it is not a virtual inheritance the reason behind this is as you know the com memory model right the normal c++ uh, the virtual inheritance does not support the com memory model in the com memory model each interface uh, uh, like is going to have its own query uh, interface address and release uh, right so uh, because of that we are not virtually inheriting it instead it is simple multiple inheritance okay now let's see the query interface declaration so if you notice here uh, uh this is returning one h result and it is taking two parameters one is iid and another is a uh, pointer to an interface so this iid is called uh, interface identifier okay basically we'll come to know about it uh, in depth later but uh, here this is just a constant value okay if you see my uh, class file here we have provided the definition of it so for now just take it as with this particular value it's going to know ix uh, whether which uh, which interface it is okay so uh, now let's go down <coughs> and see the query interface declaration sorry here so uh, this is the iid so whichever interface we are trying to querying for and we are trying to ask the component whether the component has is supporting this particular interface or not we need to pass the iid of that interface and in this particular location the interface pointer will be placed okay and this query interface will return a h result value which can be s okay or e no interface okay so this h result is a 32 bit value uh, with a particular format so um, like uh, it 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 is a it has a particular format i'll talk about it later again so uh, the return type will be compared with uh, some macros like uh, succeeded macro or failed macro okay uh, they they will not be directly uh, will not be comparing its result with uh, directly with s okay or e no interface instead there are some suc succeeded and failed macros we'll see how to use them in the uh, coming uh, in the pr coming programs basically so now uh, now let's go to the definition of the query interface so basically we are trying to querying for in this particular interface okay and the uh, address will be placed in this location and uh, <coughs> now um, uh, it is a simple if else condition uh, if the iid is uh, belonging to the i unknown interface let's see this definition of this i unknown so this is again there in i unknown base dot h so the program knows which is the i unknown iid okay so if it is i unknown then will be directly casting with the ix pointer 
again if it is the iid of ix will return will cast ix uh, will cast this this particular this pointer to the ix pointer and return the same and the uh, return val the value will be updated here and then similarly the uh, if it is a i uh, iid of uh, iy interface then it will be casted statically casted to the this pointer will be casted to the iy pointer right interface pointer and similarly the condition for the iz interface and if there is a iid passed which is not supported by this component then simply it will return e no interface and the pb ppv value will be a null also we are uh, showing a message like interface not implemented in ca and uh, we'll come uh, we'll see this address and release uh, in the coming lesson uh, for now uh, like whenever we return a interface pointer will be uh, like uh, there will be a incremented ref count so we'll come to know about this in the coming lesson and once the interface uh, uh, location is pointer is updated and it will return a s okay otherwise if it is not supported it will return e no interface so this is basically how a query interface is implemented in a component okay and now you might be thinking how uh, this is just a implementation so how the client is going to query for it so now for that purpose i have just written a client here it's a simple client and i will not go to this part how the client has been loaded uh, in like how the component is loaded into the client's memory this will uh, will discuss again in the coming lesson for now just think the the component is loaded into the client's memory and now we are trying to just query uh, for particular interfaces and trying to uh, use those functions that are uh, there in those interfaces okay so for that what we did uh, it is this uh, we are using this call create instance method which is going to give us the uh, pointer to the unknown uh, p i'm sorry i unknown interface pointer of the component so here this is the i unknown interface pointer and using this call create instance okay we are uh, just and using the dll name okay this is the component dll name so th this mechanism i'll explain you later uh, so we got the i unknown pointer of the component okay and once we got the i unknown uh, pointer of the component what we will do is using this i unknown we will use the query interface pass the iid uh, of the interface that we want so here we are passing the iid of ix so we will get the uh, interface to the ix uh, interface right and then we can call this fx function that is there in the uh, that is coming from the ix interface basically and once we are done with using it we will release it okay so similarly uh, we can query for iy or iz okay and uh, here once we are done with all the use then we are releasing the i unknown pointer also so this is simple uh, example simple program to show how the query interface is used uh, uh in order to query for a particular interface and uh, use the pointer to get the functionality okay i hope this uh, video is uh, useful for you in the coming lessons we'll go in more depth we'll understand address release function of i unknown interface and also we'll see how a dll a component gets loaded into the memory of the client and uh, it will it will get the uh, actual i unknown pointer till then uh, thank you so much for watching the video and please hit the like button if you if it is useful for you in any way thank you so much